Stories of the Bible. Jesus' disciples. These are Jesus' disciples. Hey they were the 12 men who followed Jesus during his time on earth. Some were fishermen like Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Some were tax collectors like Matthew. Me? Yeah, you. Some were even brothers like Peter and Andrew, yep. or James and John. These 12 men saw Jesus do amazing things like calming storms, <laughs> turning water into wine, healing people from sickness, helping people who were blind see, making people who couldn't walk, walk, and even raising people from the dead. They heard Jesus teach about God's love and tell stories that taught them and others about the kingdom of heaven. Hey, Jesus! Jesus would often turn to them and teach them what these stories meant. Of the 12 disciples, there were three that were closest to Jesus. Their names were Peter, hey. James, and John. Hey. These three got to see Jesus do miracles that others did not. Oh, hey, everyone. They even got to see him transformed on a mountain and saw Jesus' face shine with the glory of God. The disciples were with Jesus before he was arrested and taken to the cross. On that night, one of the disciples named Judas betrayed Jesus by showing the men who came to arrest Jesus who he was. The other disciples were afraid when Jesus was taken and put to death on the cross. They hid and didn't know what to do until they heard that Jesus was alive. Hey For 40 days, Jesus appeared to the disciples. Jesus showed them and others that he was truly alive. He told his disciple Thomas that he could touch the marks from the cross on his hands and side, so he would know that it was really Jesus. Jesus promised his disciples that he would send them the Holy Spirit to be their helper. He told his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations. Then Jesus went to heaven. The disciples waited, just as Jesus told them for the Holy Spirit to come. And the Holy Spirit did come and fill them with power. They went to teach the new disciples to obey all the commands Jesus had given them and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Some wrote letters to the new churches to encourage them and teach them about God's commands. Some of the disciples, like Matthew and John, wrote down the stories of Jesus' time on earth so that all who read the words would believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. The disciples went on to tell the good news of Jesus wherever they went, and many of the people they shared with came to believe and follow Jesus. The disciples started the church, they were persecuted and treated badly because of their faith, but they never stopped preaching about Jesus. Joey, and I'm an adventurer in training. <laughs> yep, Joey is doing his adventure challenges so he can join the Scuppet Adventure Club. Today, Joey has a big adventure ahead of him. Oh yeah, I do. Hey, take a look at my map. Now, I have to complete all these challenges. For today's challenge, looks like I have to get in some type of ball. Wow, it's a Zorb. You can go inside there and roll from the starting line to the finish. 
Whoa, that sounds like a lot of fun, but I'm not sure I'm gonna roll through by myself. You'll have help. At the Scuppet Adventure Club, we are like a family. We can help you. Okay, well, that sounds amazing. And you know what? That kind of reminds me of our big idea today. What's the big idea? Well, God's family's with me on my adventure with Jesus. Even Jesus had a group of friends who were with him when he was doing amazing things on Earth. They were called the Disciples. And when Jesus left, they kept doing amazing things together and they helped each other in their adventures. The disciples did amazing things for Jesus. They told other people about Jesus, helped Jesus share his message, and saw him do miracles. Some even did miracles with God's power. Wow, that sounds so fun. And it sounds even more fun that they got to go on an amazing adventure with their friends. The adventure with Jesus is the best. But you said our big idea was about having God's family with us on our adventure. Who's in God's family? Yeah, well, that's a great question, Melly. And anyone who loves and follows Jesus is in God's family. Oh, so like my friends and leaders at church who follow Jesus? Yeah, and any family that you have who love and follow Jesus are in God's family too. Wow, I want to make even more friends who love Jesus and want to help me love Jesus too. That's great, Melly. And we can be friends with people in God's family. We can help each other learn about Jesus, make the right choices, share with each other, and help other people together. Oh, nice. That sounds like a great family. I love doing things like that with my friends. Well, me too. So you said I was going to have some friends help me on my Zorb adventure, right? Yep. They are official scuppin' adventurers. They'll meet you at the starting line to complete your adventure. So go ahead, Joey. OK. I'm really excited. Thanks, Melly. I'm off. Whoa. Hey, you guys are scuppin' adventurers, cool! Yeah, we're here to help you with your challenge, Joey. Awesome, thank you! So get in the Zorb and let's go. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think I can do that. We'll be with you the whole time. We're gonna push you all the way to get you to the finish line. Okay, let's do this. Oh, this thing is pretty wild. Now it's time to start this race. Here we go in three, two, one, let's get moving! Whoa! It's a little scary in here! Whoa! <laughs> and you know what? The Scuppin' Adventurers, they're taking care of me! Whoa! We're going down! Whoa! Okay! We gotta get to the finish line! We're at the halfway point! Whoa! Keep it moving! Whoa! I see the finish line up ahead! Keep it moving! Whoa! Whoa! And we made it! Whoa, I got a little bit dizzy in there. Good job, Scuppin' Adventurers. I couldn't have done it without you. You did it, though, and now you're one step closer to being an official Scuppin' Adventurer. Yes! Thanks, guys. Now it's time to get back to headquarters. Let's go! Jesus is the best, and he loves you so much. Oh, wow! <laughs> that makes me so happy! Melly, Melly, I did it. I can't believe I made it. I'm still a little bit dizzy, but that was awesome. <gasps> oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Joey, this is my friend Rachel. She loves and follows Jesus. Nice. Well, that means that she's in God's family. Yes, I am. And we're talking about our big idea for today, that God's family is with us on our adventure with Jesus. <laughs> That's great. Well, I just finished my Zorb adventure, and I was so happy to have some friends there to help me. Isn't it great that we could go on adventures together? So, Melly, am I a Scuppet Adventure Club member yet? <laughs> Not quite yet, Joey. You still have some more challenges. Friends, come back next time to see what Joey's next challenge is. Hey, and until then, remember our big idea. God's, God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. Jesus loves you, and so do we. See you next time, adventurers. Bye. Bye.